Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to demystify parallel modes so you know what they are exactly, how to play and use them in music, and why they're important to know in the first place. Now, modes in general can seem confusing, but they're not really. Really, they're just permutations of the major scale. And in another video, I explain how this fundamental pattern, how the major scale, forms a giant ring of major scales called the circle of fifths, which we can picture using the color wheel since it follows the very same pattern. And when we rearrange the circle of fifths back into the chromatic scale, the basic pattern of 12 notes we use to play any instrument, we can then easily pick out the major scale in any key. Like this scale in the key of C that begins and ends on C, where C serves as the tonal home base, the C major scale. And by playing these notes, we can come up with other patterns like melodies that all sound nice because they're derived from these notes that sound good together. Like this little melody. But while this sounds nice, this group of notes, the major scale alone, can start to get a little boring. So to expand our palette, we can use this basic interval pattern to create some other patterns called relative modes. And in another video, I explain how this is done by simply moving up through the scale degrees of the major scale, beginning and ending on each successive note to play a total of seven relative modes. Relative because they're all related, since each shifts the tonal home base while retaining the same interval pattern of the underlying major scale which results in a variety of patterns that each sound unique, but related, since they share the same notes. Each one is named after a separate region in ancient Greece. The Ionian mode, also known as the major scale itself, is by far the most popular with its bright and happy sound. Like this pattern in the key of C. Then there's the Dorian mode that begins and ends on this D note in the key of C, which sounds more smooth and pensive. Then we have the Phrygian mode where E is the tonal home base. It sounds dark and exotic to Western ears. Then starting on F, the F note is the Lydian mode, which sounds a little spacey. Then Mixolydian on G with its slightly Celtic feel. Then Aeolian on A with its melancholy romantic vibe. And finally, Locrian on B, which sounds pretty dissonant and unstable. Like I say, each mode gives us a new and unique interval pattern to use as songwriters to create some interesting sounds. But while each mode is derived from the major scale and shifts the tonal home base from one to the next, most songs, most music, is usually centered around one note as its tonal home base. So if a song is in the key of C, for example, and you want to shift modes, but you still want to keep C as the home base, then what do you do? The answer is to use parallel modes, or modes that all start on the same home base, like the C note in our example. And we can do this by simply starting on C in each mode, but applying the interval pattern of that mode to pick out the other notes. For example, if we wanted to play the C Dorian mode, then the interval pattern is still 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, 6, flat 7, 8, but starting on C as the first note. So the notes are C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, C. And because both the Ionian mode and Dorian mode begin on C, they're aligned or parallel, we say they are parallel modes. C, Ionian, and C, Dorian. Continuing on, if we want to play the Phrygian mode beginning on C, then the interval pattern is 1, flat 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, flat 7, 8. Or notes C, D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C. This mode is also parallel with the others. And moving down the line following the same logic, we can pick out the other modes too, including the C Lydian mode, the C Mixolydian mode, C Aeolian, and C Locrian. Where each starts on the C note, so C is the tonal home base, and we remain in the key of C. Now, as you play through each mode, it can seem like a lot of notes and intervals to memorize, since each mode is different from the next. 
But here is where it gets even better, because remember that each mode is still just a permutation of a major scale. So if you think of these C parallel modes as a group of other major scales that have been shifted, it's a lot easier to understand what's going on. For example, the C Ionian mode is just the C major scale. That's easy enough. But looking at the C Dorian mode, remember that the Dorian mode begins on interval two of its source scale. So Looking at the note that's a whole step to the left of C, that would be scale degree one in the source scale of this mode, we find B flat. So C Dorian comes from the B flat major scale. And sure enough, when you look at all of the notes in this pattern, C Dorian is just a permutation of the B flat major scale. Likewise, the C Phrygian mode is also a permutation of another scale. It begins on the third scale degree of its underlying relative pattern. So reverse engineering that back two whole steps before C, we have A flat, which means that the C Phrygian mode comes from the A flat major scale. And going through each parallel mode, each C parallel mode, we can see which source scale that mode came from. So C Lydian is from G, C Mixolydian is from F, C Aeolian is from E flat, and then C Locrian is from D flat. It's really cool actually how each of these modes is just a permutation of another major scale. But at first, it seems like this collection of keys is sort of random. C, B flat, A flat, G, F, E flat, and D flat. So another way to picture all of this is to look at all of the major scales that form the circle of fifths, which we could also call the ring of modes because while it shows all of the major scales and how they're connected, it also reveals the links between all the modes in every key. Since each major scale is really just the Ionian mode, it shows C Ionian, G Ionian, D Ionian, etc., moving in this direction, and also F Ionian, B flat Ionian, E flat Ionian, and so on, moving in this direction. So these are all the Ionian modes that form the circle of fifths. And then by shifting the tonal home base within each subpattern of this image, we can also pick out each respective mode in the various keys. For example, in the key of C, here is C Ionian, D Dorian, E Phrygian, F Lydian, G Mixolydian, A Aeolian, and B Locrian. To pick out each mode, we just have to find each scale degree and then play through the intervals up to its octave. C Ionian begins here on C and then works its way through whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half to the next C. D Dorian begins on D, then works its way through whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole, to the next D. And so on for each mode. Now in the circle of fifths, the key of D, for example, this D major or D Ionian pattern begins over here. While D Dorian is over here in the key of C. So if we wanted to find the C Dorian mode specifically, then we just follow a similar logic to find it in the circle of fifths. Moving in this direction from C Ionian, it must be over here somewhere. We just have to find another C note. And look, here it is in the key of B flat, which makes sense because C is a whole step or tone above B flat, or scale degree two in the key of B flat major. So it's C Dorian in that key. And following the same logic, we can find the other C modes in each of their respective keys, which is easy to do using the colors because C is just the red square. And so here they are laid out like this. In the key of D flat, C is scale degree seven. So in that key, we have the C Locrian mode. Then moving in a clockwise direction, in the key of A flat, C is scale degree three. So it forms the C Phrygian mode in that key. Continuing on, C is scale degree six in the key of E flat, which gives us C Aeolian. Then in the key of B flat, like we just saw, C is scale degree two, so it forms the C Dorian mode. 
Moving to the key of F, you can see that the C note is scale degree 5, giving us the C mixolydian mode. In the key of C, C is scale degree 1, so we have the C ionian mode. In the key of G, C is scale degree 4, which gives us the C lydian mode. And then in the key of D, C goes away because that key, D major, uses a C sharp note instead of C. So the C note doesn't show up until we advance through the circle of fifths to the key of D flat, where it again appears as scale degree 7 to form the Locrian mode and the pattern repeats. It's pretty awesome, right? So this is why when we again look at a simple table of modes like this, we say that the C Dorian mode is really just a rearrangement of the B flat major scale because it is. Likewise, C Phrygian is simply a permutation of A flat. C Lydian is a rearrangement of G. C Mixolydian is a rearrangement of F. C Aeolian is a different take on E flat. And C Locrian is just the D flat major scale, but in a different order. That's because the C note is found in each of these keys within the circle of fifths. So it's the foundation of a different mode based on its position or scale degree within a key. And the reason this is cool is because now you can play the various modes while staying on the same tonal home base. Like the C note, for example, since most music does this. That is, most songs are written to focus on just one central tone as the focal point. But now, with these parallel modes, you can deviate from the standard Ionian mode to add some audible variety and spice to your music by expanding into other modes as you play. For example, I'm going to play a melody that's mostly centered around C Ionian for a happy sound, and then I'll dip into C Aeolian to give it a more melancholy feel for some added emotional variety. You can hear this shift, right? Everything I just played was in the key of C, but I moved from the C Ionian mode to its parallel C Aeolian mode midway through. And of course, we can incorporate other modal patterns as well to create a variety of sounds and moods all through the use of parallel modes. And naturally, you can play parallel modes in all 12 keys, which all follow the same pattern and logic. So you can pick them out from the circle of fifths in the same way. Like these parallel modes, where G is the tonal home base, and these modes centered around D, and these around A, and so on for all 12 notes in music. It's beautiful. So this in a nutshell is at least an introduction to parallel modes, what they are, how they're formed, and a bit of how they're used. And in other videos, I explain how to really flesh out your music using these patterns. Now, if you want to play these patterns yourself and really soak them in at your own pace, check out the link below to the Color Music Library, where you will find some downloadable diagrams and materials to really take it in and have some fun. So thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.